ख्वाबों में जब मैं पाकिस्तान गई रे हाय ख्वाबों में जब मैं पाकिस्तान गई रे Hey everyone, Jesse J here again. And guess what guys? So for the longest while I've wanted to make a video log, which is also called a vlog, um for a trip I made at the end of last year, 2023. Um so over the last year, couple of years, um I've had the privilege of um a bearing and um uh, you know, following around my mother as she does missionary work around the world. And it's a privilege and honor I've been able to go to several countries um, with her. So this last year, we made a trip to Pakistan. And uh, let me tell you, ladies and gents, it was amazing. It was astounding. It was indescribable. And before you start judging, let me tell you, it was beyond surprising, which is another word I would describe. So the trip started um, going from Trinidad uh, we took a flight to the States and then the States to Dubai and then to Pakistan. So that was all well and good um, in the sense that it wasn't that strenuous heading to Pakistan. It was a little, you know, there was a little fear inside. Um, but the journey itself was about 20 hours, could have been a little more. Um, I'm accustomed traveling long distances, but that was the longest distance. So that was uh really really um strenuous on the mind uh physically as well so getting there it was um you know you want to eat foods that you're accustomed to you because you're unaccustomed to you know the foods of the local cuisine so when we went to dubai we bought mcdonald's um but for some reason the mcdonald's is not the same mcdonald's we were accustomed to so there ensued the uncomfortable feeling throughout the entire time I was in Pakistan of uh, my stomach. So you guys can read between the lines. I don't need to go any further than that. So it started there. This is before we even hit Pakistan and tasting local cuisine and um, yeah, their foods and stuff. So and I'll just get off the bat before we get into how amazing the people are and everything. The my mother traveled to India before, so she did give me a heads up on the people in that side of the world not using toilet people. Yeah, so they use something called bidets, and if you're from the Western world, it's not common at all. So you know, I if you saw my suitcase, I filled the suitcase with toilet paper because I know that was. Uh, you know, I'm all kind of a little bougie-ish, you know, so, you know, even though it's like, oh, it's missionary work and, and we're going in the trenches and whatnot, but you still have to have a sense of uh, comfortability. So that happened, and then, so, we're there in Pakistan, and let me tell you, getting through immigration in Pakistan was an experience um, in that, you know, we thought we had, we, we had to make sure we had the right uh, visas, the right invitation letter, um, all our vaccination stuff, you know, just in case, whatever. And so we were like, oh my gosh, this is going to be very arduous. You know, we're coming from Trinidad. They probably don't even know where Trinidad is. And so anyway, so we're heading through immigration and then all of a sudden they're like five or six guys. And all of a sudden we hear them say, Charmin, Charmin, that's, that's what Mother's Day, right? Charmin, Charmin, Charmin. <laughs> And they have a picture of her. And so the immigration officer is trying to get our passport information, our visas, um, the, the invitation letter, everything very serious. And they are just, no, 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 no. They push, they push him aside. And it's literally, we almost got this like uh, first class, like presidential um, entourage that took us right through. They took all our documentation and we just went through. Um, they They got our... Uh, luggage for us and then we were just out in like five minutes and we thought this was going to be such an arduous experience because especially after the long journey we had from all the way from Trinidad coming across so we are in Pakistan now and it is uh, for me a little kind of initially mind-blowing in that um, Everything that you would have seen, basically, if you have seen any footage of Pakistan on social media or on YouTube 
or any research you've done it, it it's like that but it's like physically being there is kind of different it's like the air quality is different um it's almost as like there's a natural filter <laughs> um in the air and so that was i'm um, taken aback by that and then the most amazing slash crazy thing is the driving over there my god i thought you know we went over there to preach the gospel we went over there to help out people speak into their lives and stuff but i thought we were gonna die literally <laughs> and i'm not talking about die by guns or die by whatever else or persecution <laughs> but the driving in Pakistan and all the Pakistan people watching Karachi you guys need to hook on driving because it is crazy there's like no rules there's like no laws when it comes to driving um, there there are several modes of you know there's cars and there's uh, bikes and there's this like uh, moped kind of three-wheeler thing that people transport on and it's it's everybody is just going say it's three lanes it's like six cars trying to file in and um, I have some footage that, you know, I will be playing, uh, but it is absolutely crazy. It's absolutely indescribable, not driving. Most of the times your eyes are closed because you're just hoping to get to your destination in one piece. So that happened. Um, and every time we had to go out uh, to, or to head somewhere to, uh, to minister or speak in a church, it's always like, oh my God, we could we could have drive now, get ready, get yourself ready. So that was uh, an experience. Um, I was uh, taken aback by the level of poverty um, that I saw. It it is serious, and haven't spoken to the people there that you know there there's a high unemployment uh, rate, um, and you know people are just trying to make ends meet. Uh, so, so there's that. Um, there's a lot of in the governmental sector as well as in commercial sector. There's there's a lot of corruption, you know. But that's like everywhere, okay. Um, um, I was taken aback by the conditions of the uh, the littering, the garbage. But you know, let's put those things aside. I would like to talk about the people, the people of Pakistan, of Karachi. They are amazing. They're like nowhere, like people like nowhere I've, I've ever met. I've been to, so far up to that point, there's been 16 countries, 17. And I've never met people like that. They're so loving, they're so warm, they're so inviting. Whether they're Muslim or Christian, they're all welcoming, they were all pleasant, um, they were all willing to help in any way possible, they were all willing to serve. Um, they were friendly and I loved, I loved, I loved the, the people. Uh, when I travel, I always look at the people and their cultures and how they behave and, and, and uh, Karachi is second to none when it comes to um, how the people were with each other as a family group, how they were with the, the guests, being us and whoever else they invited. So that was amazing. That was outstanding. I loved that. Um, when it came to the ministry side of stuff it was outstanding in that i was surprised that uh how open the area we were in um they were able to be christians and praise god and worship and whatever um and how free they were and that's what amazed me is that no matter how uh on the outside and we may judge uh things may have looked you know not as pleasant to us and in our comfortable and from Trinidad and thing, things may seem bad here but when you go over there it it's to the natural eye it seems worse but the people seem so um lovely they seem so pleasant they seem happy they seem you know that you know despite the situation that they're getting on with life they're moving on so i would say that that was amazing the ministry the people uh you know they were literally on fire for god they wanted more of God. Their worship was like nothing else. They were like, these people could worship for hours, man. They could pray for hours. And um, that really, really, really um, invigorated me as a young person. There was a lot of young people there as well um, that were on fire for God. And then I'm talking more like in all hours of the night, these people are worshiping and praying and, you know, having fun. And and um, I, I wanted to bring that back home. Uh, 
in Trinidad where things are comfortable because let me tell you over there, it's persecution is happening for Christians because it's an Islamic nation, right? But they were still free, right? They were still free. They were still, they, they, they worship like nothing I've ever seen in, in, in my country or, uh, you know, other countries I've visited besides probably Cuba. The freeness that I've seen in their worship was like amazing. And the place was packed out always and, 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 and I loved it. Let me talk about the food. <laughs> So, those who know me, if you don't know me, I generally do not eat spicy food, like, at all. So, everything over there is spicy, and it's just natural for them, right? So, your boy was kind of dying. I was already having stomach issues from uh, Dubai all the way. So, like, every day I was a challenge. Um, the food was amazing. In that they had to kind of make separate food for me. My mom, she loves spicy food, so she had no problem. She was in a glee. So, but the food was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed the food every day. Um, those who cooked, they're amazing, amazing cooks. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. And um, the talking about the food is <laughs> uh, toilet paper. You guys could get, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, you get the gist of it, right? Um, so yeah, so heading back, um, leaving. Karachi, I mean, it was, it was, uh, it felt like more than a week and a half we were there. It literally felt like we were there for a significantly longer time because every day we, it was so rich. Um, it was so bountiful. And I felt that, you know, there was a lot of unfinished business. A lot was poured out. A lot was received. Uh, it was hard work. It was hard work. Um, and, you know, there was a lot of little things, you know, like the water and whatnot. And, but, you know, we overcame all those hurdles and um, the, the dust in the air, whatever. But whatever, it's all part of it. And it's, it was a joy to be there. Karachi is amazing. The people are amazing. Um, it's just a juxtaposition of certain areas being, you know, really wealthy. And then, and then other places, like right next door, really poor. But as I said, like everywhere else in the world... It's like that. And um, so, journey back um, from Pakistan, heading to Trinidad, it was long. It literally felt longer than 24 hours. I'm not kidding you guys. Um, the journey that pilot took was like basically around the world in 80 days. It's like we literally went around the whole earth to get to Trinidad. Um, and then, so, heading... So we landed in uh, Miami before um, transiting to Trinidad. And guess what? I get stopped by immigration in Miami. For what reason? I don't know. Is it because my last name is Fuentes? I'm Spanish. They stopped me in Miami. They don't know where I'm from. I don't know what it was about. So they start speaking to me in Spanish. And I, I know a little bit of Spanish, but... I'm not fluent in Spanish. And no, am I Spanish? I was like, guys, I'm from Trinidad. Why are you speaking to me like this? And they bring me in immigration. They start interrogating me. And I have to give my whole family history and whatnot. And it's, it's like, I'm going to do another vlog on that where I went to Cuba. And I had a similar experience where before I even got in the country, this immigration stopped me. So I'll do another uh, video on an experience in Cuba. But that was it. Uh, they stopped me there and then basically is us having to rush to get to our flight to Trinidad because it was a couple hours away and I, they were there interrogating and keeping me in that immigration um, hold for a significant time. As you could imagine, uh, my mother was freaking out, but all glory to God, it was amazing. Pakistan of people, uh, I love you guys. Um, there is like nothing... I've ever experienced it was a humbling experience it was a cherishing it was a spiritually infilling experience um, I'll never take it for granted and hopefully I will be back this year all right I hope you guys enjoyed this please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the youth fighters channel thank you for your support and more is coming all right God bless bye bye